Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. How? What the fuck? Nathan used on Kate. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. Victoria, wake up. 
Wake up! Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? God, I don't remember any... If I could move it towards me... looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! my shot but please don't worry we have all the time in the world for now I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie yes I still hate that word but I love the purity of your own image not like Rachel who was always looking in the wrong places poor Rachel Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Oh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. 
Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is gonna die anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous, but it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just... I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. This can't Good. be real. Now I can I use them. I want to wake up. I need you to help me, okay? Please, please get us out of here, Max. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Okay, I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Out of here. You have to! This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. Your 
The winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good, because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway. I like my models to be seen and not heard, so I have to make sure 
there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. This is purity personified. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. This one is out of focus, but that's my fault, Max. God. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started Max this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. He was a real visionary, not a hypocrite. Uh... What do you mean by that? I mean that he actually created something. He didn't just take pictures of models and pretend they were art. I'm not sure I get the connection, but... Uh, yes, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. <laughs> Max has clearly read more into them than I have. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the darkroom. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Even if you're 
This diary literally saved my life. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I hope I still love photography when this is done. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but for once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate? Listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Victoria. I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I, I didn't. You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson.
Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Wow, sir. To admit, I love being called an artist. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. I don't believe anything I read on the How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Christ, another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time.
Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Walter and Max, you did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Danny Lee article. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. The revolution will not be televised. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay, some mysteries should stay that way. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is gonna be worth serious cash. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones.
Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about all this. When I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually. But I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway... It is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be with me here. I can share all this with you. Uh, Dad? The label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, of course. I was meaning a Leica disposable camera. Yes, yes. Uh, and don't contradict me anyway. <laughs> Whatever. That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. How do these galleries afford to rent here? I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that film costs a fortune. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Like... Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! This makes me feel so bad exposed like I was back in high school. Bad no fucking way. Chloe can't die again. 
I have to save her. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. How much would you pay for that? Like, I do not understand art. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A teenage girl. Artist. I think it's for some content. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. Please, no. I, I have to be in Arcadia Bay to help Chloe. Not here. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... doing the time. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid! Okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck! He no, burned my diary! Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you.
Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? Damn. No, David, no. Jesus. No more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? What do you, uh, take, one last picture of me. I... I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but... I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! David Madsen! Uh, it's over! You are not going to stop- He's hiding a gun over there! Sorry, Madsen. It's over! You are not going to Grab stop- Grab your gun me. now! Got it! Oh, Christ! David Madsen, you are one stupid son of a bitch. So don't blame me. Jefferson, it's over. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> David. Jefferson, it's over. Grab that bottle. Sup? 
Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. 